who presents Macy to be married to Kyle, her mother and I. Kyle and Macy, you probably shouldn't have to wrestle with hard questions during your marriage ceremony. You have a big enough question coming up, although the expected answer is short enough. So what do the rest of you think? Uh, should we just let them stand here and look at one another while we do the wrestling with the hard questions? <laughs> is that okay? All right, here we go. Does character, who we are, drive purpose, determine what we do? Or is it purpose, what we desire to do, that cultivates character? Do you see how that's a chicken and egg question? Two people stand here before us who embody that hard question. Which came first? the purpose, or the character? Some of you might answer, purpose. There is much that is both focused and purposeful about both Macy and Kyle. Kyle says that something that attracted him to Macy is that she's very faith-driven and passionate about what she's involved in, enough to scare him sometimes. <laughs> Macy says that Kyle gets done what she asks him to do, and then when she... <laughs> we did mention forgiveness earlier. <laughs> and then when she is spewing ideas like a volcano, Kyle says, great, let's make a plan. They met, in fact, because of purpose. Macy and Kyle met to do church work. Notice I did not say met at church. A church is a good place for people to meet, but there was more to it for Kyle and Macy. They got to know one another, planning and leading First Christian Church's youth program. Shared purpose and work led to liking, and liking eventually to love, not without, shall we say, some negotiation. <laughs> Kyle liked Macy's interest in and respect for others' experiences and convictions. Macy liked Kyle's dedication to relationships. And so if you focused on their mutual liking, you might answer our question, well, it's character that comes first. Purpose or character? Does scripture provide us with an answer? A proverb says, as someone thinks in their heart, so are they. Jesus said, you will know them by their fruits. Character or purpose? It doesn't sound like a slam dunk either way to me. Jesus also said in words that we will hear a few moments from now, that this coming together in marriage happens due to God's purpose. God's purpose to unite so the two become one. But maybe that purpose comes out of God's character. God does like to reconcile, to connect. In the end, I don't know that it matters. Let's have it both ways. Macy and Kyle, you share purpose and character. You act and are together from this day forward. And God is at your shared heart. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. Kyle, do you take Macy to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, Honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Macy, do you take Kyle to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, 
and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? We will. Really really Let us pray together the prayer that Roman Catholic Christians call the Our Father and Protestant Christians the Lord's Prayer. We'll use the form in which we say debts and debtors. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. A reading from the 10th chapter of the Gospel of Mark, words of Jesus. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. And now say your vows to one another. thing of there are no words to describe how I feel about you but instead I will list all the words that just do describe you the most to me no matter how good or how bad <laughs> I love that you are one friendly when we meet for uh, when we first met I introduced myself as your helper for the youth group and then later you emailed me to give me your phone number to work on youth group things but after that we went to an escape room together and talked more and I knew that you were something else you are caring. You go out of your way to help someone in need, and even, uh, even put their needs before your own. Sometimes that can drive you crazy, because you won't have your own things done. But I know, that you, uh, I know that for you, making someone else happy makes you happy. I know that you're strong. I think that this one's kind of self-explanatory. Sons, you know, you're a black belt in two different kinds of martial arts. So it's safe to say that, you know, you're my dispenser of justice if I need somebody to, to mess with me. You know. You're short. Um, and now that may not seem like a good quality, but there are benefits for you um, to being short. I do like that I don't have to warn you about low-hanging things when you hit your head. And I can all, you can also get into small spaces, which is nice for me. And also, you're a good armrest. You're very dedicated. When you go for something, there is no 80% or 90%. There is either 0% or 100%. The great thing about that is that you don't spend your time with things that you don't think will work. You say, darn, that didn't work. But what about this? Sometimes it's such a quick turnaround, I haven't even realized you've gone to another idea. <laughs> but in the end, usually your end result is something amazing. You're my hype man. If anyone has ever met you for five minutes and they told you something that happened to them that they were excited about, you would be there jumping around and giving a couple of whoop whoops <laughs> like you knew the person for years. Sometimes it can seem like a bit much. That's because you drink a, a big cup of coffee and your kettle's already on the floor. <laughs> math. Well, your math is okay, um, but that's why you have me to help you with your math. You have great taste. I'm referring to anything, food, TV shows, music, a man, <laughs> anything else. Your choice of those things are great since we both like the same things and we like to do those same things together. You're really funny. Let's be real, sometimes your don't, jokes don't hit the mark sometimes. But when they do, they're just straight up off the wall when you say it. It's no telling what's going to come out of your mouth or something that you're going to do. You keep me on my toes for sure. You have a big brain. Sometimes you're hard on yourself and you think that you're not smart. But I know that that is 100% not true because you graduated with two majors in three and a half years. I didn't graduate at all with any majors. So you, you may not be the best at some things, but you're the best at where it matters. 
especially because I guarantee my vows have a lot of grammatical errors all over it, but I couldn't use you to proofread it. Uh, you're my puzzle piece. It's crazy to me that you are so similar and also so different. Where I struggle, you excel. And where I do great, you still do pretty good. We fit together so well, and you build me up when I need you the most. And always know just what to say or do. You fit my crazy looking puzzle piece perfectly. I would list more, but I'm afraid that the people in the back row might get sleepy or wonder if I, when I'm going to finish talking. So I'll save all those other good and bad things about you for later when we can experience the rest of that for our rest of our lives. I am so blessed to have been graced by God to have you in my life, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm so happy that you decided to come with me to the escape room because after that I wasn't able to escape your amazing quirks. I know how to read after that. <laughs> so I'm going to throw it off typically. Kyle, as I sit here writing my vows to you the night before our wedding, I'm realizing that I probably should have wrote these sooner. There are so many things I want to say, but no words good enough to express how I feel about you. So I'll try my best and start with a quote from Hans Voss. When I look back at everything that we've been through together, it seems like the gods had to be smiling on us. It's been a pretty crazy year. But for us, things have always been wild, and I have absolutely loved it. So I could do without the pandemic. <coughs> Kyle, you have always encouraged me in my wildest dreams. You make me feel safe and so loved. But most importantly, you lead me closer to God. With you, I have hope. So now for my vows. I vow to support you in every moment, no matter how crazy it may be. I vow to love you overwhelmingly. I vow to pray for you daily. I vow to always be your home. I have never been a planner. <laughs> I tend to do things last minute. Cough, cough. <laughs> my vows. <laughs> and I like to live in the moment. But to quote Cece's vows, for the first time, I see what the rest of my life looks like. And I gotta say, I'm loving what it looks like. Cruising down the river. <laughs> Kyle, I love you. I love you today. I love you tomorrow. And I love you forever. Humbly we ask a blessing on these rings, which are and shall be the signs of the vows by which you have bound yourselves to one another. Amen. Kyle, please take the ring that you to Macy and repeat after me. Macy, I give you this ring. Macy, I give you this ring. As a symbol and seal of my promise. As a symbol and seal of my promise. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. I honor you. Kyle, I give you this ring. Kyle, I give you this ring. As a symbol and seal of my promise. As a symbol and seal of my promise. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. I honor you. I honor you. Now it is my honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may seal this declaration with your kiss. Now, friends, you have seen and heard as these two have encircled one another with their love and promises. The good marriages aren't made by two standing alone. They are made in communities of families and friends. So would you all join me in blessing this couple? Would you please stand together and echo me? Macy and Kyle. Macy and Kyle. 
May you travel far together. May you travel far together. In company with laughter. In company with laughter. May your friends always be your family. May your friends always be your family. And your family always be your friends. May you be strong and tender. Reckless and wise. May the wide world give you all its gifts. And may you always return to the gift of home. From the Song of Songs. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For the winter is now past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. And now it is with joy that I bid you greet Kyle and Macy Schreiber.